What is poppin' y'all? It's your boy Eva Sin Reaper here. This will be my 1.8.3 tech this is tactician five piece this is God Pulse build. And I will be explaining the this explaining the build so far as God Pulse. Now when you're making these type of builds, no sense so far as, as the God Pulse build, listen, keep in mind that this build is support team based. So you're pretty much listen helping your team out getting that listen that massive ass no say cricket chest cricket damage along with the build that they're currently wearing. And now that you also give them a nice ass skill, and I explain this exactly what a God Pulse is. And if I further do, it's gonna get straight into it. So. As you can see, I'm running a five piece using the Venom backpack. My skill power is sitting at 441,000 skill power. I'm sitting at 10,000 electronics. The two guns I chose for is, is listen, both of them have listen, the main talent, which is talented. And then also, listen, I mean, you can pretty much listen, run any type of gun you want. Listen. Personally, for me, I would probably go for a Midas. Listen, try to go for a Midas with talented on it. And then this would be actually a really, really over, overpowered build. Doesn't help your team out because, you know, with that Midas, let me give you that extra 20, like 20 percent on reduce so far as damage wise and then you just constantly got your skip power up and you just constantly giving that pulse out just over and over and then you just keep supporting the team out so every time they try to shoot you or shoot your teammate if you shooting at that person and then they just keep dropping it just reducing their damage down but so far what i got is i got an all they got a talented competent adept Talented, intense in the depth, no sound a lightweight just to get my talents unlocked. But listen, this gun probably be really, really good so far as why would you run firecrest? But personally for a firecrest build, you probably want to run the MDR, but this is a tactician. So so these just for talent wise, no saying I'm pretty sure that everybody knows how to run so far as mod wise. This ain't everybody know how to run right mods. Just in case you want to know what mines I'm running for this build, because it's just support build, I'm gonna let you get a minute just to look at that. There you go. That's just to show you this a glimpse. You know what I'm saying? It ain't listen, it's not a whole lot of damage because you gotta remember I'm running tactician, this ain't talented, competent, or dead. So it ain't like responsive or if you're like running deadly or anything like that, it's just to say you get some mods in so that way you better treat your gun. But other than that though, let's get into the build now. Now, the build, however. So we're in a Tetation Authority first. I mean, you can run, I mean, if you want to run healer, you can go for Rapid. I mean, if you want to run a Vigorous Chest Piece, use a Booster Shot, you can do that. But like I said, this is the God Pulse. So you want to get as much, as much, this is skill power as you possibly can. So when you're running this type of build, especially when you're in the Vendor, you're always supposed to be the one to sit in the back because you got to remember, you're super squishy and then you're running 10,000 electronics. So that means your team should be doing nothing but all damage every time you pop that pulse. So, run his health. Skill haste, ammo capacity on here. Let's say 1922 on the skill power. My electronics, I have 266 mines on here for electronics with 3% on the skill haste. All right. Mask. I'm running a mask skill power here. So pretty much let's say you like I said you want to get as much skill power, as much skill haste as you possibly can when you're running the, this type of build, especially when you run the pulse. So keep in mind this build is not even fully optimized. Um I have that 265 on the electronics, 1391 on there, and I have a 3% skill haste on the mod. All right, knee pads disrupt, burn, shock. I do have skill power on the knee pads, road electronics. I have 265 on my electronic mod with 3% skill haste, and I have a pulse. I have a pulse, pulse crit hit damage mod. Now, I was explaining why I have crit hit damage, you do not want chance. Because the chance, however, you know, you know it only maxes out to 60%. So you want as much damage as you possibly can so that way you make the damage even way more higher. Because the damage, cure hit damage doesn't have a gap. No, it doesn't have a, this thing, I can put it, a stop number. It doesn't have a, this thing, uh, this thing, just a basically saying, oh, I'm going to stop at 135. No, it can go as way, as much higher as it possibly can if you get it up to. But chance, however, it stops at, this thing, at 60%. So you want to go for that crit damage pulse mod. All right. Backpack. I'm using Inventive. So this this be the time listen to where you supposed to be like let's say uh, stay in the back of the cut. That mean I mean you can pop your heels if you're uh, excuse me if you're popping your heels listen over and over for your team. If your team goes if you if a person goes down you just run right by them pop the defib get them up or you pop recovery and give them up. But then at the same time I'm running skill power on this. I mean you can for exactly you can go for ammo capacity if you want to. But the mines I'm running I'm running a 267. This is uh, this electronic mod. 3300 on the skill power because I'm maxed out on the skill haste so there's no point 
and the muscle running 2% on the crit hit damage, this crit hit damage pulse mods. So yeah, the main reason why I'm, I'm running a mod that has 267 with skill power, because yet again, you got all the skill skill haste coming from Tetician, and then you got about one, two, three, you got about four mods that's already that makes you that puts you at the max at 50%, which is the max for skill haste. So what did I go for? I went for skill power. So this is why I want to get my skill power as high as I can. Now, oops. This is the main gun I'm using. You can use an SMG, you can use an assault rifle, you can use any type of gun you like to, but I went for crit damage, skill haste, crit, uh, the SMG. So the main reason I went for skill haste at a crit chance because like I said, you have the pulse. So she's Oh, excuse me. Since you had the pulse, since you have the pulse that puts you at the max of 60 crit hit chance, you don't need crit hit chance nowhere on the build. You already have a max out just for the pulse alone. You're gonna be you're gonna be maxed out anyway. That's including the pulse and your build and the gun. Since my gun is the SMG, so you add that that's that 44 percent of crit hit chance from the pulse with your gun, which the max is 23 percent. So that's six. That's over 60. So there's no point in running crit hit chance on this build. So I went for crit damage. All right, and of course you're gonna want the skill haste. 13, 34, 8% skill haste. You know what I mean? It's not fully optimized, but these are the roads you want. All right, holster. I'm running skill haste at the bottom yet again. No, no you don't need crit chance. 1389, 1396, 1399 on this holster, and I'm also running a 2% pulse crit hit damage mod. All right, so now, as for the guy pulse, if you wanna see what the pulse looks like, the highest pulse I'm using, I'm using this pulse because it's the highest. I mean, you can use this if you wanted to, but I'm using this because I want to get as much out of my crit damage and crit chance as I possibly wanted to. So I'm running at 67.20 on my crit hit damage, so damn near 70% on my crit hit damage, and I'm running a 44.40 on my crit hit chance. This is the main reason why I'm not running a crit hit chance on my nowhere on my build because I have a 44.40 on crit chance. And since I'm using SMG, however, if you can see, what about SMG? All right, see, look at that. All right, my AUG is sitting at a 20%. My Pulse is a 44. So just 40 and 20, just that alone, I'm sitting at 60. So I'm basically, I'm like four, I'm like literally just about four, like 4% 4 on the crit hit chance over my 60. So there's no point in me running crit hit, ch crit hit chance Pulse mods. You're running damage. So since I have that, since I have number damage wise, I'm sitting at a 67.20. So think about when someone is running striker or they're running pred or they're running nomad and you pop this pulse for them they're gonna hit and so they're gonna hit like a goddamn freight train so now defib i only went for defib because like i said support build i mean you can run a immune station you can man a frame turret however you want to but i went for defib because i mean it helps us to get the team up and especially if you're running this talent battle buddy you know, you know what i mean now you pop this right over the body. You ain't gotta shoot it on the ground. Just run right by the body. Hit RB and it'll get right up. And then Valley Buddy, Battle Buddy, it just helps out for both both teams. So especially if you're running, if you want to play Clear Sky, if you're playing and playing with this build, this build does wonders for you in a lot of ways by using that defense. It's just a preference on my end. If this whatever you want to, so really, that's why I got recover link down. So when you're running with this build, you're running that recover link with Battle Buddy. You need to keep a close eye on your team if they go down. The moment they go down, if you're by the if you're by the body, do not hesitate to pop this. Just, just constantly pop this. Do not hesitate. This this talent right here should be constantly just be popping over and over and over again so your team can be running it and just straight run right into it. Cause you got that skill haze. Cause yet again, I've got to show you Go down, skill haze. See that fifty percent. You see that 50 percent on the skill haze. You have a massive ass pulse. You have a very high ass skill power. We have ten thousand electronics. This is this is a real real good build so far as team team support. All right. So now, talents I'm running. Triage, healing allies. Listen, with the skill, reduce the skill cooldowns by 15%. This helps out for your your defense. So the moment your team runs into it, triage kicks in the play. Battle buddy, of course. I mean, this helps out a lot so far when you know I mean somebody goes down and then you pop defib or recovery link and then they hit right back up. Strike back. So this helps even more. So if you got low health, this kicks in even a lot more. So that way, let's say if. Let's, let's say if your health is all the way down, then you got your defib. You can pop this over, then get yourself a heal. And then I use combat better because this helps your team out. Because like, yet again, like I said, it's a, it's a team support build. So these are the four this are that I use so far when I'm in the group. All right. So now, 
The other thing I want to say about this healing, let's say if you didn't want to run defib, but you want to run something else. I mean, you can't run an overdose if you really wanted to, because let's say nine out of ten your team was playing with six pieces. You can run an overdose if you wanted to, so this way they get an overheal. Or let's say if they're running a vigorous chest piece, and then you're running one. Let's say you want to run not, not a vendor, but you want to run the other send the booster shot. You can run the booster shot. Just as, keep in mind you need a. Just keep in mind that you want a vigorous on. This that's what I would run with it. But if you're running, if you want to run a healer, go for rapid. You want to run healer, go for rapid. You want to run vigorous, you want to run booster shot, go for vigorous. But this this way, I really like that god pulse. So this would be just straight damage for my team. All right. And that's what I got for Tetition. The guy goes to God Pulse Bill. I hope you guys understand. Like this bill. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you understand. Hope it takes a very good benefit for you. Hope it, hope it helps out a lot for you. You know what I mean? But yeah, this is the this is the God Pulse bill for Tetition's authority. Hope you guys like it. Enjoy. Let's go hate. Later. Peace.